Uh, I'm absolutely chuffed to have her back on here at Pumpkin Dribbling Poetry, the wonderful Kat Molinari! <laughs> Sorry, I, didn't nearly, I nearly didn't make it on. I had to go for a quick anxiety poo. <laughs> Is anyone here familiar with anxiety poos then? Yeah, they're great, aren't they? Who needs fibre when you've got crippling self doubt? <laughs> um, my name's Kat. Uh, I used to go by the name Kathy until everyone started thinking it was acceptable to shorten that to Kath. <laughs> Which it's not. Because I'm not a 72 year old auntie who chain smokes with rollers in her hair and pisses herself. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> um, a lot of people ask me if doing this makes me nervous, but I don't really get nervous anymore at anything. Um, that kind of counteracts my last point, but it's just, my, it's just been my set for a while. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not used to change, am I? Uh, no, like a lot of people do ask me if uh, Sam comedy makes me nervous but I think honestly once you've faced the task in life of sitting down your Jehovah's Witness parents and telling them that you're an atheist bisexual <laughs> nothing really scares you after that <laughs> um, I didn't tell them I was atheist and bisexual at the same time though I didn't want to fucking kill anyone <laughs> can you imagine mum dad sit down uh, God doesn't exist and I like the punch <laughs> Linda McCartney that you think the Beatles are shit whilst eating a Big Mac. <laughs> That's not really going to go down well. Um, and uh, to be honest, stand-up comedy is pretty similar to Jehovah's Witnessism because you know you travel around different areas talking to strangers about your beliefs and they laugh in your face. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I would have, you know, you, you'd think that the toughest thing about growing up as a Jehovah's Witness would be having to go without the kinds of things that most people are allowed, you know, like Christmas, birthdays, a mind of your own, um, <laughs> Halloween as well, they don't celebrate that either. Um, they don't like it when random people come up to their doors. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought that that would be the one... Fail. <laughs> it's okay guys, I went to drama school, I can just fucking project. <laughs> I'll just keep this as a prop though, because... Oh, hello, and we're back. <laughs> what is my life? Okay, uh, no, uh, yeah, the, the, yes, they don't, I would have thought that that would be the one time where they do go around knocking, because everyone's probably expecting people to knock on the doors, although I don't think anything would scare me more than being revisited by my past like that, though. No Halloween costume would scare me more. <laughs> you know, my housemate was like, Cat, there's a man at the door holding a magazine. Oh, yeah? What kind of magazine? I can't make it out, but he's still the teenage girl that's dressed like an old lady. Oh god, it's them. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the fashion sense that we don't have any gay friends. <laughs> um, yeah, they, 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 it's weird because like my parents found out around Easter that I was into girls. I probably shouldn't have eaten a cream egg in front of my mum. <laughs> Growing up Jehovah's Witness wasn't even my sexuality as well. Like, if anything, it just made it ten times easier for my date in life. Like, my mum and, my mum and dad assuming that I'm straight. Uh, like, for example, when I was 17, my mum asked if I had a boyfriend yet, whilst the girl that I fucked was sat right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Leanne, she was called, or as mum and dad knew her as my best friend. <laughs> she was always allowed over for sleepovers. <laughs> No one would be like, Kathy darling, will Leanne be coming tonight? And I'd be like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> several times. <laughs> the straight men in here are going several times. <laughs> oh no, sorry straight men, I know you guys have it really tough as it is. <laughs> wow, usually it's only the women I can hear laugh at that line. Most of men are sort of sat there like, what, we, we do have it tough as <laughs> Classic, great, great. No, uh, no, the toughest thing growing up about being a Jehovah's Witness was in fact not being allowed to read Harry Potter. And that's because they believe that there's no such thing as magic, but there's a person in the sky, obviously. <laughs> and, um, and honestly, like being a 90s kid who's never read Harry Potter sort of separates you from your whole amount of people. Like It's sort of like being a Glaswegian who's never tried heroin. It's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? Um, my girlfriend for support and I said come on baby you know why I've never read the books right and she said yeah because you're a fucking disgrace to humanity <laughs> dead serious 
slow. So I said, right, okay, so I better get with the programme. Uh, first I thought I'd better see which house I'd be in first. Already there was a problem, because I'm not very good at picking teams. <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> it's true, because us bisexuals, like, I, I just see houses the same way as I see people, you know? I don't care whether you've got a snake or a badger. <laughs> but if you've got raven claws, you can stay the fuck away. <laughs> But the nice and trim, you can slip her in. <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> yeah, uh, people always ask bisexuals the same sorts of things as well. Like, when did you come out? Do you prefer boys or girls? Will you join me and my boyfriend for a threesome? <laughs> the threesome one I find fucking hilarious with my anxiety levels. Like, I can't even handle a group chat. <laughs> And it always seems to be, it always seems to be straight guys that ask me the threesome one as well, out of curiosity. And I'm sure we can all guess why. And there was this one guy that just wouldn't fucking leave me alone about it. He was like, so cat, so, 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 so cat. Would you ever have a threesome? And I said, do you know what? Yeah, I would. Why don't you come over tomorrow and you'll see what I've got planned. So he did and he got all excited, right? Uh, judging by the look on his face, I don't think he expected to see my mate Steve sprawled across the sofa. <laughs> Wearing nothing but a jock strap and holding a tub of anal loose. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go over a few one-liners now that I have on my phone, if that's okay with you, because you seem like a really nice audience. I want to get into writing one-liners, because I do like puns a lot, but I don't actually have many puns in my set, and pe so when my friends come to see me, they're always like, what the fuck? So I should probably be a bit more on brand because my friends like they see me as like this pun person like you know Tim you know Tim Vine who does like those puns they call me Tim Vagine <laughs> not that you have to have a vagina to be like, yes anyway uh, no transphobia uh, okay cool so yeah. Uh, see, I have to put on like a really awkward front now. Oh, I've got to talk about front. <laughs> Fuck off. Because <laughs> uh, they don't work otherwise, do they? Yeah, anyway. Anyway. Um, thanks for laughing at my bisexual jokes. The thing with bisexual jokes is that they can go either way. <laughs> I don't understand why everyone's raging about Ariel being black. It's just a font. <laughs> There's currently no vending machine in our office, we're still waiting on the replacement. So I guess at the moment you could call it a pending machine. <laughs> I think if I were a fish, I'd be a blowfish. Because if you don't eat me right, you'll probably die. <laughs> I accidentally seasoned my dinner with weed the other day. The steaks were high. <laughs> sharing a bed with my cat is the same as sharing a bed with a man. Caught to death by sharp toenails and I don't come. <laughs> I once got Star Wars characters Chewbacca and Wampa mixed up. It was a Wookiee mistake. <laughs> <laughs> the lights in Chinese restaurants are always so bright. They should dim some. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really shit one. Uh, <laughs> so, Boris Johnson is Prime Minister. More like Prime Sinister, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I chose a good time to go. Okay, thank you. <laughs>